good morning from Caney, Kansas. We are here at the Caney Valley Speedway, and it's so funny. Last night we ran a very large racetrack, the Lakeside Speedway. It's a, probably a smaller half mile, and then tonight we literally go to like a little bull ring. Last night we started off with like a 597 in uh, for our gear, and tonight the guy that I asked, they said, hey, what gear do you run at Caney? They run a 695, so if you get what I'm talking about there, this place is tiny. Reminds me of the racetrack we have back home known as Banks, and they even have a small pond here in the infield if you want to go fishing, it looks like. So it's just really funny to me, everything we worked on last night, you know, don't follow race cars directly into the corner because of dirty air and, um, you know, running really, really hard all night because you have the wing speed and the track was fairly hooked up. Tonight, it's gonna be the complete opposite. Probably super slick, a lot of guys with the wing in the trunk, you know, when they ran here with the national tour earlier in the season, it seemed like it was kind of right around the tires until a few other drivers, you know, found their line. So should be interesting to see how this place races. I'm gonna kind of get showered, get ready for the day. We're gonna do some maintenance and then start night number two of Sprint Week. Well, engine heat here at the Caney Valley Speedway, getting ready to head out for qualifying next and hot laps. Uh, just gonna see how we can get around this little bull ring. In total, we have 37 sprint cars on tap here tonight. So another great car count. We are in group number two, got some heavy hitters in there. And as usual with this um, speed week format, we gotta qualify good in the top four in our group in order to make the invert for the heat. So let's head out for qualifying next. Just got done with qualifying here at Caney Valley. We were the 16th car to roll off out of 37. Laid down an all right lap. Um, felt like I only lost time in one and two. Felt really good in three and four. There's just a nice little grip lane kind of up towards the wall that you can lean on and drive it fairly hard. But one and two, I was just getting too far around. I was all right on entry, but I needed to diamond off, I think, and um, gain some time there. I just was too free down there. Tried to move my wing back, but that just made me too tight in three and four. So gonna work on a few things, see where we end up in our group and go watch the rest to try to kind of keep into what the track's doing and learn as obviously because we've never been here. Getting ready to roll off for the heat race now, just like last night. We ended up going uh, third quick in our group, which is actually perfect. You either want to be quick time or you want to be third or fourth quick in your group so then you can start on the front row, have a chance at winning the heat race, or you go you know, quick time in the group and then you just got to finish in the top four to be in the dash. Qualifying second makes it much tougher because then you really got to win from the second row on a track like tonight. It might be kind of tough to pass once people single file out. So really excited to be here at Caney Valley. Um, we ended up, I think, ninth quick overall. So a good lap, it just really slickened off as it you know, went down down the line so we're gonna head out starting on the front row hopefully get a little bit of a better start than we did last night in the heat
Just got done with our heat, man. Uh, felt like I was in no man's land. I was kind of just lost the whole time. Got to just go watch some more heats and figure it out. You know, I kind of had a good game plan to start, but I just wasn't able to really capitalize. And I was kind of trying multiple lines the whole time, and it just it didn't work. Guys were going by me. So i um, going to need to figure out some things and get better for our B main event and see where we're going to start. You know, it's just unfortunate. Thought we were going to be fine there on the front row, but just um, got into the front stretch wall. And just like I said, never gotten a good rhythm. So uh, this place is really tricky. It's really slick, and uh, multiple lanes are starting to form. So we're going to try and figure it out and um, come through the lower main tonight. There uh, started sixth, first or first initial start went to the high side and passed a bunch of cars, and of course the yellow came out and a bunch of them wrecked on the inside. So we had to recrisscross. Actually ended up starting third on the second start, um, got into second and kind of just hung there. Unfortunately, the racetrack looks like it's probably going to start taking rubber. It seemed to get a little abrasive down in one and two, three and four, still a little bit of grip, but I'm um, unfortunate. It might be you know one lane track, but us in the back starting 18th, we're just going to have to pass as many cars as possible and try different lines and see what happens until the rubber comes in. So I'm um, excited that we made the A. ASCS horns going, so it's time to get in.
too good out here. I'm sweating. I've been sweating all night. Racetrack was not too nice to the tires. There's the left rear. Here's a look at the right rear. Unfortunately, knocked the ladder out of it about lap 12 or 13. Han got under me. I just got a little tight, and um, I just got my right rear into the front stretch wall. We'll kind of recap all of tonight and talk about the A main event. This place, what's so tough, it's like a red bluff, but for sprint cars, and um, one line red bluff. You know, you don't really have a bottom or a top, especially when it takes rubber like that. Unfortunately, you know, everyone was super nice here at the Katy Valley Speedway, but the surface just wasn't that great in the A main event. It was really racy at the beginning of the night. Um, the heat you know kind of the lower mains but once the a rolled around it just couldn't hold up we made all the laps though didn't get lapped and I know that might you know sound you know don't you want to do better than that and obviously we do but um, you know our goal is just to make every a main event and go from there you know there's so much good competition and on a surface like that it's really really tough to pass so I'm just glad we were able to bring it home in one piece with minimal damage Well, night number two of the ASCS Sprint Week is a wrap here at the Caney Valley Speedway, and we had an all right night. You know, I'm really happy that we were able to make all 25 laps in the feature and roll our car in one piece. Qualified really well. That's been really good uh, start to the, the night. You know, both nights Lakeside and here at Caney Valley, we've been able to set down a good lap, make that top four invert. That's so key with this format. And then the heat race, I just backed up. I absolutely threw the anchor out the door lap one. You know, I just made some mistakes as a driver, but like I always talk about, I think making mistakes is what helps your growth. And, um, you know, I was able to fix all those. I got a few extra laps tonight because I got to run the B main event. You never want to run Bs, but we were able to get out there, get 12 more laps under our belt at this little bull ring. This place reminds me of the Banks Bull Ring in Northern Oregon, and uh, it raced very similar. Super slick early in the night. Only difference though, unfortunately, is it took rubber there in the A main event. It was just so hard to pass. You know, we got rolling good there in the B, uh, ran second, then started 18th in the feature, and I believe we came home 14th tonight. This place has potential to be a really, really nice track. As you saw early in the night, it was super, super racy. It just got to the point where it got a little brace, uh, abrasive, and once everyone really didn't move off the bottom line, you know the top was gonna be gone. We are on to 81 Speedway, though, next for night number three of the ASCS Sprint Week. We've been getting a lot of good laps, and like we've been saying, absolutely living the dream. It's so cool racing back here with professionals, the best. Um, the shows are ran so efficiently, very quickly, and um, you know we're just having a lot of fun. We're gonna continue to try to improve. We ran 14th tonight, ran seventh at Lakeside, so we've had some good Good finishes we've had some speed and we're just working to get better and better each night so we're gonna head to 81 which is a little bit of a larger race quack not a uh, racetrack not quite the size of lakeside but i'm um, still very large and hopefully we don't go through too many tires there that's kind of what i hear so anyway i'm um, caney valley night number two that's a wrap uh, cars in one piece and we're headed for night number three and finish off the next four nights of ascs sprint week so we're having a lot of fun thank you to everyone who stopped by the trailer and said hi and bought some merchandise see you guys all in the next one deuces